season, as you know, and while you may be stressing over paying this year's taxes, it's actually a good time to start thinking about next year, so you're ready. Ooh, here we go. Welcome, Chris Hobart, President and CEO of Hobart Financial Group in Charlotte. Hello, Mr. Tax. Hey, hello. <laughs> good to be you? here. I'm oh, doing good. Good. Well, now is the time to start thinking about next year already, huh? Yeah, there's a little bit this year, but it, you know, it's too late really to make any proactive choices for last year. It's just uh, it's done. So we've got to start looking at 2012 and making some positive choices that can affect us next April. That is a very good point. I said to Chris, I don't want to talk about next year, <laughs> but you're right. I'm sorry. No, but you're right. Now is the time. To, yep. We can't do anything about the year past. We can moving forward. Tip number one, you say go to school. Explain. Yeah, well, you know, at the end of this year, there's going to be a tax code that expires, and it's the American Opportunity uh, basically program. And that gives you $2,500 tax credit towards. Uh, education, education expenses and things like that. So as we begin to talk about that, it's a great reason to go back to school. This is also applies for 2011 as well. Our concern is at the end of 2012, this may expire. So if you need a reason to go back to school, this is a great, great reason. Okay, very good. Well, it's a great time to do it. You say turn your traditional IRA into a Roth IRA. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, I just, just confusing What's that a lot mean? Of people I know, I know. I know. <laughs> what, what, what that means is a traditional IRA is something you put money into pre taxes. So in the future, when you retire, when you take it out, you owe taxes on it. What you're going to find out is that's, that's the worst thing you can do because the government controls the tax rates when you retire. So you might retire into a higher tax rate. So what you can do now, regardless of income, you can convert that traditional IRA into a non traditional IRA or what we'd consider a Roth IRA which means that you pay taxes today at today's lower tax rates and in the future you never pay tax on the on the principal nor the growth which really sets you up nice for people 55 and under or people older than that looking to create real tax advantage income in the future. Okay, makes sense to me. Okay, now. very good. Um, you have to claim what you sell online. A reminder for people, you have to claim what you sell online. Yeah, 2011 was the first year this happened. Form 1099K. Do not throw these away. These are very important forms. Credit card companies and PayPal, third party uh, money mm -hmm. folks like that, they're required to tell the government when you've made money online. The government's found out that a lot of people were selling stuff and not necessarily paying tax on it. Okay. So don't, eBay. don't ignore them. Sure. <laughs> now, what does this mean? Be ready for basis reporting. I know. Exciting. <laughs> it's, it's a tax thing. Come on now. Okay. Uh. In the past, when you bought something, a stock, you were responsible for keeping track of the basis or what you paid for it along with the growth. And when you sold it, you owe tax on that. Again, the government found out that people weren't always dead on accurate. So in 2011, 2012, and going forward, the government now says it's up to your broker to keep track of that. All that means is, for those of you kind of cutting the corners with that stuff, the government says, no, not anymore. Now all of the responsibility falls on your brokerage house, which means that we could potentially see people paying a little bit more in taxes because things will be much more accurate. Mm -hmm. Okay. You also, Chris, have some advice for small businesses? Yeah, yeah. You know, and this is small businesses or people in higher tax brackets. At the end of 2012, if Congress does nothing at all, what's going to happen is we're going to reset our tax code. In other words, we're going to go back to an older tax code, pre-Bush era. What that means is the tax rates are going to go up. So for that top bracket, you go from 35% to 39.6%. So a pretty significant mm -hmm. jump. What you can do is accelerate your income. If you have bonuses coming in or a small business, you want to take as much income in 2012 because the tax rates are going to be lower. It's not often that we want to say go ahead and pay taxes early. In fact, we typically want to push them off. But if we know we're going to, uh, into a higher tax bracket, we definitely want to pay taxes at today's rates. Okay. And you also say now is a good time to cash in those stocks that have been doing pretty well. It's the same reason. If Congress doesn't act, we're going to go back to long-term capital gain rates that jump up. Right now, they're at 15%, which is historically low. If you've got a lot of gains in your stocks, now's the best time that you can cash them in sometime this year to make sure that you pay 15% as opposed to whatever it might be. <laughs> and give gifts. <clears throat> yeah, give gifts. You, you know, it, it doesn't always, or it doesn't just help you on your tax statement when you give gifts to charities, but for higher net worth people, you're able to give up to $5 million a year away, which is a pretty significant, or not a year, I'm sorry, but during your lifetime away, $13,000 per year to whoever you want. I'm like, who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Sign me, some money, Chris. <laughs> sign me up. Oh, yeah, yeah no problem. Uh, no, that, that, the key is if you do have an estate tax problem, and again, at the end of 2012, we are going to potentially see an, an estate tax problem come back. Now is the time to be proactive in, in cutting back on what you have 
and the best way to do that is give that away. And quite frankly, it sounds like all three of us can uh, can take it. Sure. Send it over. Yeah. Uh, Chris Hobart, Hobart Financial Group. For more inf information, visit HobartFinancialGroup.com, HobartFinancialGroup.com, or call 704-553-0123. Again, 704-553-0123. Chris, I mean this. You do a very good job. Oh, well, you thank do. You. you really make it very interesting <laughs> well, to listen taxes, about I the tax you. stuff. That <laughs> well, I, I sometimes try. for me, it can be over my head. Very good. Thank you. Well, thank you.